First of all, I must thank the, my Constitution Committee for inviting me to this, my conversations or conversations on the Constitution Forum pertaining to oil royalty. The question is, is it a constitutional right? I feel honored to have been asked to attend and to speak and to participate during the discussion. I've been going around the country explaining the same issue, but it doesn't get into the press, somehow or other my picture doesn't feature well in the local <laughs> newspapers. And what I say also doesn't get across to the people who come to record what I say. And I suppose that must be the reason why whatever I say is not in the press, except for something saucy that I may have mentioned. Anyway, we have a problem. And I think we can resolve this problem if there is the willingness to give and take on the issue. After all, oil is a God-given gift to our country. And it is meant for the people. To begin with my narration of the whole story, let me start with a story, a little story. Perhaps that may help you understand the issue better. Way back in 1973, towards the end of 73, I was called to see the late Ton Razak, who was then the president of AMNO and also the second prime minister of the country. 73 was a very busy year for him because he had just reconvened parliament after a rule through NOC, the National Operations Council. And he had just reconstituted what was known as the Alliance, a coalition of three parties that ruled this country with the understanding of leaders, not only from the peninsula, but also from Sabah and Sarawak. Alliance was renamed Barisa National, the National Front. Reason given by Tun Razak was let's stop politicking. Let's get together and spend more time on the development of the country and the people. That was the purpose, according to him, behind the formation of this grand coalition of parties to rule our country. <coughs> After the May 13 incident, he also was planning to rearrange things after 1973 and he had planned to visit China in order to establish diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China. And the purpose of my meeting with him then, when I was called in 73 to see him, was because something was nagging, nagging him. He said, I've been told that we have oil in this country, and yet we don't own it, and we have no control over oil. He said, how do we get this back? The British who ruled us then gave oil to the British company. And he said, 
we must try and get it back. But he told me, he said, we don't have money and therefore stop thinking about nationalizing because I'm not going to <coughs> follow the path adopted by some countries like Venezuela, Indonesia and some others. And furthermore, he said we don't want to scare foreign investors that we need so badly here to help build this country. We not only need their money, their expertise, but also the transfer of technology and the markets that they will open up for us, for our products and such like, to train our people and expose our traders to these new areas. So he said, the other problem I, I'm, have, I'm facing is with one of our friends because they have filed a suit against the federal government. Sarawak government has filed a suit against the federal government because they feel that the federal government has no claim over oil in their territorial waters. He said, you are a good friend of Rahman, Rahman Yaakob, that was, was Chief Minister of Sarawak. He said, why don't you go and talk to him and try and resolve this matter. So these are the few things that he, he told me to do. And he said, uh, I want, if possible, to get back this oil. And when you get back this oil, it must be for the benefit of the East Coast states. Because the East Coast states are undeveloped, particularly, he said, Pahang, his own state which is the biggest state in the peninsula and he said we don't have the money to do everything necessary for the people there and the people from Kelantan right down to Johor are poor people and therefore it's high time we use some money to help and develop this part of Malaysia so he told me also I am told that there is no oil in Kelantan, Trengganu, Pahang or Johor. But there's oil in Sarawak. There's oil play in Sabah. So he said, you try and do the impossible. If oil is found offshore, although it is not within the jurisdiction of the states, particularly in peninsula, he said, I want that oil to come to all the states in peninsula. So that is a simple directive. So I went off to Kuching, spent a few days there, spoke to Raman, morning, afternoon, night, not an easy man to persuade. And finally, I brought him to Kuala Lumpur. We closeted ourselves in the penthouse of Bank Bon Putra where I was working then, at La Jalan, Jalan Malaka. We were there morning, afternoon, evening, trying to break this impasse. 